Hello everybody. Um, one of the things that's really difficult about being a teacher uh, is the intense pressure of, of grading a lot of papers, sometimes all at once. So uh, with this whole big difficulty, one of the things that I've created is an electronic grading rubric uh, using Google Docs, uh, in particular Google Forms. So what I have here is uh, a, a place where you select the person's name, their email address, and what assignment it is that you're working on. And I keep it, I, I put all the assignments in one place so that this way uh, I can continue to grade everything based off of uh, kind of like a general rubric that I standardized on. So I have here purpose, content, organization, Grammar, length are uh, the main things that I focused on. Now, clearly, this is, I mean, you could put in what, however you want or whatever you want. And then at the end, I just kind of put some general comments here um, that I would say to a student regarding their paper. So I try to focus on usually 10 things. In this situation, I just uh, threw up three. So <clears throat> I'll just put here what paper is it, and I'll just select this paper. And Actually, what's going to happen at the end is the student is going to get an email from me with uh, their grade on the paper. And in addition to that, the comments that I made uh, for what they need to improve on um, as well. So I'll click submit. I just submitted that to my email, which if I refresh this is now going to pop up inside of my email. Oh, it looks like it's slow here for a second. There we go. Um, and once I do that, it gives me this general title here of what the assignment is. Uh, it says below, you'll find your grade for the paper listed in the subject line. What is the student's name? And then that's these are basically all the areas that you filled out in the form. And then here's the student's grade, what they got. And then you could add a slash here that says like five out of five so the student knows. And then here's the comments that I checked off you know, work on punctuation, numerous spellings, capitalize your eyes. And if a student forgot like, oh, well, what is this? Why is the, why am I getting this grade here of a five out of five? I wanna see what what is a five out of five. So I put in a link to the Google Doc of what I'm grading them on. I scroll down here, the student can do this. They can take a look like, oh, okay, it looks like uh, my central purpose was, or argument was very apparent to the reader. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to teach you how to create this uh, through a couple of quick videos. Um, we'll be using Google Docs. If you don't have Google Docs, uh, then you're, you're kind of out of luck. But uh, hang, to, hang tight and uh, enjoy.